Uh, question two is actually quite a technical question. Firstly, um, yesterday's cost difference between 50 shares of FEVs and 100 shares of um, STIPAs. So straight mm -hmm. away, we're not interested in dividends, right? Mentally, you're yeah. just like, that is not even a consideration for this question. So just yeah. to make life a little bit easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, it is comparing yesterday's cost for two different um, companies. So mm -hmm. what we've got straight away is a problem because this is today's price. So we've got to use the change from the previous day to bounce us back uh, to the yesterday's price. No, I didn't do that. Okay, yeah. So that is a tech. <laughs> It's quite a, it's like okay. I alluded to it a little bit. It's called a reverse percentage question. So what right. you've got to do is you need a little trick and I can show you the trick mm -hmm. and it's very easy. All you do okay. is you take, take today's price, mm -hmm. this price here. Mm -hmm. So um, today's price is one, five, eight, six. And today's percentage. Right. If you take 9% off from yesterday, what's today's percentage? 91%, right? So this is Feb's yesterday, and this is Feb's okay. today. I'm um, sorry. Okay, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put that yesterday. Ah, uh, right. This is today, right? So how uh, do you know it's 91 today? There, because it, we took off nine. The change from previous day's percentage. Nine. Ch not change. Mi minus nine. Uh -huh. If you minus nine from 100 oh, okay. percent, assuming that yesterday's was, you know, everything. Uh, yeah. We take off nine okay. percent. We're down to a smaller amount today, right? Okay, get it. So in our case, that cashes out as um, one five eight six divided by mm -hmm. the percentage decimal for today's um, percentage is zero point mm -hmm. one, because ninety one percent is the same as zero point nine one. Yeah. yeah. And then that will chuck you straight back to yesterday's price, which will be up here. Okay. So right. calculate that. With you okay. should have oh, okay, yeah. you should have one thousand seven hundred forty-two pounds eighty-six. So let's write that in there. One thousand seven hundred and forty-two pounds. I don't know what I've done with my calculator. <laughs> I put it away from my side. Thrown okay. it in. <laughs> but, but that's the calculation, right? So you can always mm -hmm. check that later. So that would be for Feb's PLC. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. That's our first answer, right? Remember, we're only trying to find the difference between yeah. 50 shares of BEVs and 100 shares of ste Steepers. Yeah. So let's take Steepers mm -hmm. now. Okay, so Steepers again is the same kind of scenario. Yesterday it was a big... Oh no, hold on. Yesterday it was a smaller amount. And today it's a bigger amount, right? Because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. gone up by 1%. So yeah, what sure. do we do? We know the amount today, which is 2,537. Mm -hmm. We also know mm -hmm. the percentage today. Well, this was 100%. Mm -hmm. We've added on 1%. So this is now mm -hmm. 101%. Uh, so how do we okay. get back to the previous day? We take the value, which is 2,537, and we divide it by the decimal fraction, which is um, or the decimal percentage, I should say, which is going to mm -hmm. be 1.01. .01. If we do that, we get an answer of 2,511 mm -hmm. and what's it, 88 pence. All right. All mm -hmm. you've got to do now, I think we can fit it down here, is mm -hmm. we just take FEVs and we want, uh, I think, 50 shares. So you're just going to mm -hmm. do 50 times um, 174, 50 of those, and we want 100. I think we want 100 um, steepers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be easier because um, we just move the decimal point two places. And then mm -hmm. this one here, if we do 50 of them, is going to become 87,143. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? And all mm -hmm. we got to do then, because they said work out the difference between 50 of those shares and 100 of those shares, is just subtract 87,000 from 251,000. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. And um, we get a hundred and sixty-four thousand um, and forty-five. So, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, there it is. It's there. Jing and I hope you found this video useful. For more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to our channel in the link to the right. Um, if you are looking for some one-to-one -one help, check out the link in the description below where you can have test lessons with either myself or another member of our team. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.